NASCAR got the green light from Governor Roy Cooper to move forward with the Coca-Cola 600, but the Charlotte Motor Speedway is going to look a lot different than you're used to seeing it during the race. This is the Charlotte Motor Speedway we usually know on Memorial Day weekend. Look at that crowd. Stands packed with the fans cheering on the drivers in the Coca-Cola 600. But this is what we're about to see. The cars will still take the track without a fan in sight. Channel 9's Blaine Tollison is live at the Speedway right now. Blaine, this is not just a big adjustment for the fans. It is downright painful for the businesses in that area that really rely on seeing all that traffic from the people who come to watch. And Erica, the Speedway and racing are so much a part of the fabric here. I wanted to show you this because it's such a good example of that. This is a can from a special 600 ale from 2017 that I've hung on to. It was brewed by Cabarrus Brewing uh, just down the street here. Fans buy this stuff. They buy tickets. They fill this RV lot here behind me. And while they are looking forward to the return of racing, they are certainly going to miss being here. The area, I think, is going to take a hit. Each year, Jimmy Suggs is proud to be among the tens of thousands of screaming fans at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's now a 30-year-old tradition for Suggs and his family. They start them cars up and, you know, that rumble gets going and, you know, just vibrates you and just a feeling, you know. It's just an awesome feeling to, to have and be right there with them. But for the first time in history, fans won't be in the stands. Sources tell me the plan for the 600 and other races around the 600 is still being ironed out. Suggs and NASCAR Nation will watch on TV. It's good, you know, that it's coming back. You know, it's just going to be a different way of watching it. The loss of fans buying drinks, food and tickets, sources close to NASCAR tell me will cost each track promoter across the country millions of dollars in revenue. In Concord, local businesses will miss the fans too. Um, they're spending dollars with us, they're spending dollars uh, at the local car museums and um, race shops and uh, it, it really there's just there's a lot of energy, there's a buzz in the area and you can feel it when the fans are in town. How you doing today my friend? Barrett Dabbs, who we've reported on during his restaurant's effort to pay off school lunch debt, says business is steady for now. He says they cater to big name race teams where he says some workers have fallen on hard times. Uh, we're really excited for those guys to be able to, to get back to the grind and kind of get in a little bit of a routine uh, and get their careers back on track. Part of Sugg's career involved time working for the legend, Dale Earnhardt Sr. He's passionate and will make the best of all of this, especially because he lives close to the Speedway. We're probably going to camp out in the yard and watch it on TV and listen to the cars go around. It's going to be a party. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sources also tell me that we'll likely see a test of a race without fans for the first time in Darlington uh, coming up. I spoke to the mayor of Concord who told me that the race teams and the businesses that support the teams will be considered essential workers as far as what they'll be doing to pre protect their health during the races as they will be close to one another. That is still being ironed out as well. Back to you.